Hey everyone, today's video is about Momenata flirts with you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going! Bakugo Katsuki Bakugo would probably be loved at, without a doubt. He's very hot tempered, although he has learned to tone it down around you. But with Mineta, it's a different story. Mineta isn't someone who knows boundaries. He's shameless when it comes to thirsting over his girl classmates or flirting with them. At least, Kaminari knows when enough is enough. Since Mineta is more cowardly than the rest of the class, he'd probably hit on you when Bakugo isn't around. The only time this would happen is after he was training, when he was in the shower. You were usually one of those who finished showering early after all, and Mineta would take that chance ahead on you. You'd be alone, waiting for Bago so you could head back to the dorm together like you usually would. It was then that Mineta would approach you, a perverted look on his face. He'd attempt to invite you into his room for a study session, but by the look on his face, it was clear that he had much worse intentions than simply studying for the upcoming exam. But it was hard for you to say no. As much as you hated the way Mineta acted, he was still a classmate, and you didn't want to risk possible punishment for making the first move in heading up. But just as he was about to bounce and bang you away, Bago had exited the locker room and immediately came into contact with your eyes that begged him for help. And when he saw the way Mineta was looking at you, he snapped. Quickly, he shot Mineta away from dragging you with him, away from Mineta, who laid in the wall, head hurting from the impact. Bakugo didn't want to cause a scene. He had scolded him many times that he needed to control his temper. So even when he wanted to blow Mineta into bats, he didn't go for your sake. Silence involved the two of you as he dragged you out into the hallway before stopping in an empty classroom. You had slammed the door shut behind him, hands still glued to your wrist. You could practically feel the sweet build up from them. Not that he minded. You knew that was just the way he was. He didn't say anything for a while, watching with concerned eyes as Bargo gazed at the floor, heaving in and out. After a few minutes, you decided to speak up, concerned for your lover. Katsu? The moment you spoke, you were surprised when he suddenly crushed you into his arms, burying his head into the crook of your neck. Did that little shit touch you? He asked, and you could tell that he was trying to hold himself back, which made your heart warm. No, you'd say, running your hand through his hair and down his back in an attempt to calm him down. But thank you for saving me, I appreciate it. You press a kiss on his forehead, something that brings a small smile on the back of his face as he stares head on within your neck so you wouldn't see his tate. I want to kill him, he says, grabbing your waist tighter, making you laugh. I know, Katsu, I know. When Bago sees Mineta flirting, he wants to rub the world apart and beat him up for making you uncomfortable. However, he would hold himself back because his first priority is you and only you. Who cares about that perfect rape anyway? Ijiro Kirishima. Kirishima would be really subtle about his anger towards Minata, but nonetheless, the outrage would still be there. He's a gentleman after all. He respects women, much more his girlfriend, so he can begin to comprehend why Minata could flirt with you so openly and in such a disrespectful way. The most likely scenario where Minata would flirt with you would probably be a new way to some other place within the building, whether it is going to be the dorms, whether it be going back to the dorms with the class, or heading to the training grounds. Mineta would use those few moments to flirt with you, mostly when Kirishima was preoccupied with keeping Baku in check. It was subtle, but it still made you uncomfortable. He would blatantly stare at your chest, would flirt with you just loud enough for you to hear and would inch closer to you at any given chance. You were extremely uncomfortable about it, but you couldn't just make a scene in front of the whole class and destroy the mood. Thankfully, Bago had somehow managed to calm down from his outbursts against Midoriya, and Kirishima had taken that chance to go towards you. 
wanting to hold your hand the rest of the way. But he saw the way you rubbed your arm, restlessly, walking timidly, and eyes looking everywhere except to your right. He followed where I strained away from, only to find Minetta shamelessly daydreaming about you. He was drooling, flushed red, and eyes lit up with the gaze that everyone knew contained improper thoughts. Immediately, he headed over to your side, wrapping an arm around you, surprising you. He didn't pay much attention to Minetta and tried to distract you from his stares. He began to tell you funny stories, looking at you with so much love and respect that you began to forget that icky feeling you had earlier. Slowly but surely, he guided you to the front of the crowd, making sure Minetta was far away from you. Once you were distracted and at a reasonable distance away from him, he would briefly turn around, just enough so that Minetta could see the warning glare he was sending. The message was clear as day. Stay away from my girlfriend, or I want his dick to hurt you. Kirishima will want to make a scene when he sees Mineta flirting with you and making you feel uncomfortable. His immediate reaction is to make sure you are okay, to make you smile and forget about the horrible feeling. Only after he was done making you happy would he deal with Mineta, and it would not be a pretty sight. Thank you, Kaminari. Now, Kaminari was much like Mineta, but much tamer. Ever since the two of you got together, he completely stopped flirting with other women because he only had eyes for you. He treated you like you were the most precious being in the universe. But when he saw Mineta flirt with you, he couldn't help but realize how horrible he actually was before getting together with you. The two of you would probably be enjoying a good lunch together in the cafeteria. When Mineta would pop by to disturb you, he probably thought that Kaminari wouldn't mind him thirsting over you because they were once in the same boat when it came to flirting with their classmates. But once the words left Mineta's mouth, he was surprised when he suddenly felt a shock run through him. Kaminari had electrocated him. He looked at him, confused and baffled at his sudden actions. Kaminari was not one to lash out. He was usually easygoing and went with the flow of things. So this was a surprise. But Kaminari paid no attention to the bewildered look in your face and instead gave Minata the glare. He immediately got the message and scrambled out of there. Not wanting to face Kaminari's unexpected wrath once more. Once he left, a silence involved the two of you, with you looking at your boyfriend with a concerned gaze. Binky, you'd ask, placing a hand over his clenched fists. Are you alright? I used to be like that. He mumbles under his breath, loud enough for you to hear. It sickened me. It's then that you understand once more that your boyfriend is so much more than that playboy that he showed himself as. He's fragile, afraid to love after committing mistakes in his past, afraid to become someone he didn't want to be. So I embraced him in your arms, whispering tender nothings of affection into his ear, pressuring him that he had grown more than the playboy he used to be and that he was just perfect the way he is. Kaminari's reaction is more of a reflection than anything else. He knows you're capable of protecting yourself. So... He allows himself to borrow in the realization of how disrespectful he used to be. With your assurance, he'd make sure that he'd grow from it and become the kind of boyfriend he'd be proud of. And at the flirting and being a pervert in front of the two of you, you would be like a learning curve and you leave in your relationship where you're more open understanding of one another. In a way, the perfect grape had done something good with his thirsting, after all. Sarah Hanta. Like Kirishima, Sarah is one of the common members of the Baku squad, but that doesn't mean he let Minetta's antics slide by easily. Even if he's calm and friendly, he also has a sharp tongue, often using it for harmless jokes and teasing his friends and the people he cares about. However, when needed, Sarah is completely capable of making nasty and crude remarks. But with Lamet, with Tero, Mineta would probably flirt with you during class. You would have been called to the board to solve a math problem. Mineta would make 
a very condescending remark about how you looked in your uniform. And while no one paid any mind, Sarah would. He would, without hesitation, buy it back at him. With much harsher words. After all, Sarah is one of the only people to call out his classmates when they get a little too crazy. What more when they practically disrespect the person he loves? It'd be a casual insult, one that others would have to process to fully understand. If Minata commented on how your chest and butt looked, terrific in your tight uniform, Sarah would add that, yeah, of course you look perfect, you're a little goddess. So Minata should bow down and gouge his eyes out as an offering. Okay, maybe it was a bit harsh, but what was he supposed to do? Let Minata disrespect you? Not on his watch. He'd smile when he laughed softly to herself as he saw the equation on the board. Immediately taking off his sweater to hand, over to you, as you passed him back, smirking at Minetta, who was fuming in his seat, embarrassed. He'd accept his sweater gratefully, quickly putting it on to bask in your boyfriend's tent and to avoid any other unwanted stares. With Sarah, he wasn't going to hurt Minetta in any way, well, physically, at least. No. Sarah would humiliate Minetta in the only way he can, with his tongue. It worked perfectly for him. After all, not only did he get Minetta to back off, his insults made you smile in appreciation, showing your beautiful future some. Maybe that insult wasn't so bad, after all. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.